Everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can analyze Excel sheet using AI. We will be implementing here MCP server. In fact, we will be using here MCP server with the cloudy desktop. And then we will be preparing our data analysis. I am having here Excel sheet which has support ticket data. This is my data and it's a sample sheet. Ticket ID, customer ID, issue type, issue description and so many other columns are there. And it has around 50 60 rows there. I'll be writing here MCP. Basically, I'll be using here MCP server to analyze this Excel sheet. And through the MCP server itself, basically through the AI itself, I'll be showing you how you can create this sheet dynamically and all these analysis points here. So, this is very good actually. You do not need to do here much of the things, all of these things will be automated. So what do you have to do here? You need to come on internet and then you search, you search here Excel MCP server. With this, you will come to here, NegoCache, NegoCache MCP server. All right. Thereafter, you scroll it down. As you scroll it down, you will see here how you can install this MCP server via NPM, that is the Node.js. If you have watched my previous video where I covered how you can control browser using Playwright MCP server, then you know how to install the Node.js. Otherwise, you can go here and then you can watch just to know that how to install the Node.js. Once you have installed the Node.js and the Cloudy AI desktop, thereafter, you need to just copy this whole thing from here. Either you can copy this whole thing or we need just Excel here, this one. Only this part we need here. So I just go and copy it from here. And thereafter, I need to start my cloud A. So I come here and then start my cloud A here. A lot of things are running there and some things are not running there. You know, anyway. So what you can do, you can come here, go inside file and then settings. Inside the settings, you will be having here a developer option. And then you have to click on the edit config. Inside the edit config, you will see there is a cloud desktop config file there after click on there then you can see this is the configuration file so this is the default configuration file currently which i'm having you might be having your configuration something like this because you do not have any mcp servers there i already have here playwright mcp server as i told you in previous video i had shown how you can control your browser using ai now i'm going to show you how you can Control your Excel sheet using AI. You can do all analysis stuff using AI itself. So now this is the setting of your MCP server. Now let me just take you through what these things are doing. So this command and the C, these are the windows specific. So this is basically using here the command terminal to run this Node.js. Node and then here this S says that whatever the command, whatever the tool it is going to invoke here, those will be automatically executed. Otherwise, you can remove this thereafter it will ask the permission and then you have excel mcp server this is actual server name and with this it says that only 4000 rows will be loaded in one time all right and this is very important because if you have a very large file then your server might crash so you can put here some desirable number all right some logical number so that your ai can so that your ai can do the analysis of your excel sheet all right, so our our task is to make analysis report in the Excel something like this from the support ticket data. Let me just open let me just open the file which I'm going to analyze. So here we have support ticket data. All right, let me just close this. Or what I can do here, I can take the screenshot of this for the comparison. I come here and then I take just a screenshot and then I'm just gonna close this. Now I'm going to open this file here. So now you can see we do not have anything here. All right. So we do not have our data is here. Now what we have to do here, we need to come to our cloud A. All right. In the cloud A, we already know that we have added our MCP server there. Excel is added, but this Excel is not running here. What you have to do, you have to close it. You have to come here at a tray bar. Thereafter, you have to also quit there as well. All right, you might not be able to see that in this recorded video, but in the tray bar, you will get there running as the cloud A server. Then you need to right click there. Let's say something like this, and then you will be getting there the quit cloud A. All right, so once you quit that cloud AI, and then you need to come here again. Once you open this, thereafter, you will see your server is running. You can come here again, and then inside the developer tool, you will notice inside this tool actually, 
you will notice this Excel is running here and currently this Excel is having seven tools overall. It has Excel copy seed, create table, describe seed, format range, read, all these stuffs are there. If you go here and the C in developer section, you will notice your Excel is also running, your playwright is also running. This is how you can see this. Okay, I'm sorry, I just closed that. All right, once you have that, what you can do now, you can come back to your chat window, create a new chat, and thereafter we are going to analyze our Excel sheet. So what you do here, you come and copy the path of your Excel sheet. Copy as path. Thereafter, you come your cloud here. And here you need to put your path here. Here is my Excel sheet path. Let's say I write it something like this. Analyze this using Excel MCP tool. You need to do, let's say, a detailed analysis. That's all. Right. Thereafter, it is going to do all the detailed analysis. So what it will do, it will go and read this particular file and thereafter it will do all analysis. Let's go ahead and run this. As soon as you run this, your AI starts working on this. First of all, it is going to call Excel describe sheet. There, found out this is the path. Thereafter, it returns these responses. So the first of all, it calls Excel describe sheet. With this, it found out that there is support ticket data. This is going to be the seat name there. And if you check your Excel seat, I guess I have closed that. But if you check your Excel seat, there is support ticket data. All right. So this is only one seat there. With this, your AI knows that how many seats are there in your uh, in your Excel seat. Thereafter, it is going to read that particular seat there. That is the support ticket data. And this is the path of your Excel. And the range is A1 to L51. So this is going to read all the 50 rows so here it identifies that how many rows are there and how many columns are there thereafter what happened here as it is scroll it down you will notice all the data here so all these data are coming using excel read sheet thereafter once it has the data then it starts the analysis and this analysis is being done here in the cloud ai itself once all these analysis are done thereafter it will write back these analysis in a new sheet in your excel sheet so you need to close this so that it can have a full permission to write your Excel sheet. Otherwise, it will throw the error in between. All right. So it did all the analysis. And thereafter, what do you see here that after doing all the analysis, it reads all these, uh, you know, the seats in the Excel sheet. Thereafter, it reads the data from the Excel sheet. And then it did all the analysis. Once all these analysis are done, thereafter, it prepared here a report. And this report, you can see those reports which we had seen earlier something like that it has all the details like what is going to be the resolution rate what is the average response time and all this stuff now let's say if you want to write back this in your excel sheet then what you can do we can modify our command itself here okay you need to do detailed analysis then write back into a sheet named as analysis let's say analysis now it is going to write this into the analysis sheet here so what i do here i just save this and thereafter it is going to execute it again now if you notice here all the analysis is being done here all right as you move it down you will notice excel sheet read and all the analysis is being done again here once all the report is written here report is written here thereafter it has started the formatting here so you will notice the excel format range has started here all these things are being done once this whole thing is written then we can see report update here currently it is 1735 so this is the latest which it has written after it finishes this report thereafter i'll show you seems like it has successfully analyzed the support ticket report and now it is finally checking if it need to do something else. All right. Seems like it has done here and it has added here the analysis. Let's go ahead and open and then see if it has added here. Perfect. Now you can see it has added here analysis report and you just highlight this whole thing. Double click here. You can clearly see your Excel analysis report is ready here. So you have total ticket, which is 50 unresolved ticket 23 and sorry resolved ticket 23 unresolved we have 27 data import issue this is the issue 
And then there is the billing issue. Thereafter, API issue is there. UI bug issue is there. Feature request, login request. All these are the request type. Then you have here the priority analysis. Thereafter, you have response time analysis. And then you have all these kind of the analysis as well. And then final, this analysis. The one thing you notice here that the report which I had shown you, this is this, this report might not be something like this. Exactly, it is not the duplication of this. But with the AI, sometimes these kind of things happen. You might not get the repeated result exactly like you are seeing right now. Maybe if you try, you can get the better result what I am getting. So you know that currently these new AI things are coming into the picture and it is still, you know, increasing its uh, capabilities. And once all these things are matured, thereafter you would be able to definitely get a very good result. All these analysis can be done in just a matter of the minutes or I would say that in the just a matter of the second. All right. Now, I hope that you know that how to use the Excel analysis MCP with the cloud AI. You can analyze your Excel sheet using cloud AI and the MCP server. All right. This is all about in this lesson. I'll see you next one.